I'm so excited but nervous at the same time. This smells incredible. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine and I'm a lifestyle and beauty content creator on Instagram, TikTok, and right here on YouTube. On my channel, I love reviewing fragrances. I do some luxury unboxings, hauls. I am going to incorporate some lifestyle content, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button to notify you when I post. So in today's video, I want to go over five new samples that I purchased off of Twisted Lily. It's fall and I wanted to add some nice warm fragrances to my collection. So this will be my first impression of these fragrances. I've only tried one of these before and I just kind of wanted to revisit it. But other than that, I've never tried these fragrances before. This is my first impression of them. I really don't know what to expect. I'm a little nervous, but based on the notes of these fragrances, it sounds like something I would like. But you know, of course, it's always going to be different when you actually try them. So let's go ahead and give these a try and see if they are full bottle worthy. So as I go over these fragrances, I will go ahead and put them right here on the screen so you guys can get an idea of what the full bottle looks like. And the first one I have to try today is Sound of a Ricochet by Floraiku. Here is my sample. Again, I got these off of Twisted Lily. So this is kind of what it looks like here. Let's just go over the notes really quickly so you guys can get an idea of what is in this fragrance. So for the top notes, we have Vanilla Absolute. For the middle notes, we have tonka bean. And then for the base notes, we have sandalwood. And one thing I like about Twisted Lily is that they actually have like a little tester strip here. So you can just spray your fragrance on this. And I feel like that's really cool. But yeah, I think what drew me to this fragrance is that it has vanilla. It has that tonka bean, which I love tonka bean in my fragrances and also has sandalwood. This is my first time trying it. I'm just going to spray a little bit on my tester here. I'm so excited, but nervous at the same time. Ah. Oh. This smells so good. This smells incredible. To my nose, personally, to my nose, I would think it would have some type of like oud in it or some type of incense in this. Now you do have that vanilla in the top note. So to me, I thought this was gonna be a little gourmand, but to me, this is more I guess I would say more sandalwoody, like you do get a lot of that sandalwood and it's making it very, very like fresh almost. But this is such a warm, sweet fragrance, not overly gourmand. You do get a lot of that sandalwood and that tonka bean, but this is just so incredible. It's not what you would think. You would think that it would be like super heavy on the vanilla, but it's so woody. It's like a woody vanilla scent. And I can just see myself wearing this as an everyday fragrance, definitely going out. But this is definitely like a beautiful woody scent, very light, very airy, not too heavy, not too overpowering. I could definitely see myself wearing this on a day to day, but this is so warm. It's like a warm hug. I can definitely see myself wearing it this fall. This smells so, so good. So the best way to describe Sound of a Ricochet, it's very warm, cozy, and woody. You do get a lot of that sandalwood, I have to say. And the tonka bean does come out eventually, but this is not like your overly gourmand vanilla. So if you're looking for a super sweet gourmand, this wouldn't be that, but this is like a fresh, woody vanilla scent. And I personally do believe that this is full bottle worthy. I definitely want to get this. It's definitely going on my wish list for Christmas or something because I can see myself wearing this almost every day. So with Sound of a Ricochet, I did notice that it also comes with a travel size. So I feel like that's pretty cool. So if you do get the bottle, it does come with a travel size with it. So you kind of get two and one. And I feel like that is like a good bang for your buck almost. So if you love this fragrance, you can actually wear it around or travel with it. And this is such a beautiful vanilla fragrance. This is definitely going on my list. I need this immediately. It smells so, so good. So this is Sound of a Ricochet. So if you like vanilla, tonka, sandalwood, if you like warm, you know, fragrances, this, this is super nice. I really like this one. So next on my list, I have Black 4, Black IV by Widian. This is what the sample looks like, as you can see here. And let me go ahead and go over the notes with you guys for this. For the top notes, we have plum, black currant, and bergamot. For the middle notes, we have white flowers and rose. 
And then for the base notes, we have vanilla, musk, leather, and sandalwood. I would definitely say that the black currant definitely stood out to me when choosing this fragrance because I love black currant in my fragrances. And then, you know, it has that vanilla, musk, leather, and sandalwood. So I'm pretty interested in trying this fragrance. So I've never tried this. I'm a little nervous to try it, but let's go ahead and spray some of this on here. Okay, let's see. Okay. Off first sniff, it's definitely not something that I would kind of go for but again you know scents do develop over time and it's even better to test on your skin but i do get a lot of that white flower i feel like i don't really pick up on a lot of that black currant i feel like the white flowers for me come out a lot and it's ruining the fragrance for me if i'm honest if you're into white florals you might like this i'm not like a big white floral fan so this is kind of a letdown for me but i'm interested in seeing the base notes come out in this like the vanilla musk leather and sandalwood so I'm actually going to try this on my skin really quick. So in trying this on my skin, it's a little different. Okay, I get a little bit more of the different notes and I'm glad that I tried it on my skin because I feel like it is a little bit more woody than it is on paper. And it almost reminds me of something, something I already have in my collection actually. I want to say it reminds me of Balda Freak from Byretto because it does have, I think, similar notes to that. So it almost reminds me of Belle d'Afrique, but in a more woody and warmer way. So this is definitely like a nice warm floral and I can definitely see, you know, with the base notes, with the vanilla, musk, leather, and sandalwood that it's gonna dry down really super woody. But it actually does remind me of Belle d'Afrique a little bit. I'm personally not impressed by this fragrance again if these notes sound like something that you would like then maybe you would like black four but for me it's a pass i personally don't feel like it's full bottle worthy in my opinion but you guys may like it but it's a no for me so for the third fragrance i picked up from my samples it's called Taroni by orto parisi and here's what it looks like um i'm kind of interested as to how i'm going to get the sample out of here because i've never had you know a sample come with this like little ball here but let's try it so one thing i'm noticing about this fragrance it doesn't actually have any middle notes but for the top notes it has raspberry and then for the base notes it has amber benzoin birch cedar gayak wood moss musk patchouli tonka vanilla and vetiver what drew me to this fragrance is the raspberry and also like the tonka vanilla the musk and the gayak wood i do like those notes in my fragrances so let's hope i like it so I guess with this, you kind of have to like turn it and open it. So let me do that. I'm actually going to put it on my wrist this time and see how I like it. Okay, so this is definitely leaning a bit masculine. I don't smell any of the raspberries, so it doesn't come off as fruity at all to me. But this is definitely very, very, very woody. Um, I want to say because of that patchouli especially, I do get a lot of that. I do get a lot of the vetiver. So this is definitely more masculine. I could definitely see like my husband or like a man wearing this. It's not really something that I would wear personally. This is definitely good for fall and I feel like it is a little bit smoky and a little bit intensey as well. So I do get a lot of that. I'm going to try it on a piece of paper too, but... This is definitely smoky for sure. Definitely woodsy. You do get a lot of that patchouli. You do get a lot of that vetiver. So I would say that this is almost reminiscent in a way to maybe like Jazz Club by Replica or even like by The Fireplace. I wouldn't say it's like a dupe or anything, but it's kind of in that vein. So if you like things in that vein, like those smoky fragrances, you might like this. But this is definitely just like... A super smoky woodsy fragrance now as i'm smelling it a little bit more i'm not too opposed to it but it's not love at first sniff for me i have to say i don't know if i would actually add this into my collection it's not really full bottle worthy for me but this definitely does lean more masculine than feminine it's almost too masculine for me for my taste but it's not bad overall as it continues to dry down, but this definitely isn't full bottle worthy for me, unfortunately. Again, it leans too masculine. It's a little too smoky and too, I don't know, it has too much patchouli in it for my liking. So this is a hard pass for me, not full bottle worthy. For the fourth sample on my list, it's called To Candy by Hermetica. And here's a sample. It just comes in like a little Twisted Lily box here. 
So for the top notes of this fragrance, we have cinnamon leaf, bergamot, and black pepper. For the middle notes, we have caramel, divana, and geranium. And then for the base notes, we have vanilla absolute, tonka bean, and musk. So what drew me to this fragrance was the caramel, the vanilla, obviously, the tonka bean, the musk. So I'm curious to see how this will work with like the bergamot and black pepper and the cinnamon. So let's hope I love this fragrance. Okay, gonna spray a little bit on here. I'm hoping I like this. Okay, so with this fragrance, you definitely do pick up on the cinnamon leaf and the bergamot. The cinnamon is almost reminding me of like potpourri almost in the fall. So you do get a lot of that. It is very citrusy, but not like orangey citrusy, but you do smell a lot of that bergamot. And I actually want to try it on my wrists just to pick up on some other notes here. So let me try it. Yeah, it's very, very cinnamony. You do get a lot of that bergamot for sure. So it's very citrusy, very cinnamony at the top. And I'm going to let this dry down a little bit just to see what other notes I pick up on. It is very complex in the sense of like that cinnamon and bergamot. So far, that's really all I'm getting. And I know with fragrances, you really do kind of have to let it settle down a little bit to pick up more on the notes. But this, it's not wowing me. And I don't know if I'm just a hard critic when it comes to perfumes. But I'm at the point where if it doesn't wow me, I don't want it because I don't want to just buy fragrances just to buy. It has to wow me and this is kind of boring. I just feel like I get a lot of that cinnamon and a lot of that bergamot and it's not really developing any more than that for me. Like I don't pick up on the caramel at all and of course it's going to take a while to get to the base notes but I don't pick up on that vanilla, none of the base notes at all. So yeah, it is pretty boring. <laughs> I do not like this fragrance. Okay, let me not say that I hate it. I feel like it's 50-50. It's not like a love, but it's not like a absolute hate. But the best way I would describe this fragrance is that it's very cinnamony. You do get a lot of that bergamot. So I may not like it, but if these notes are something that you like, I would say go ahead on Twisted Lily and try it yourself. But so far, I'm not really impressed by this. Like it's nothing... Like to me, it's really nothing major, it's nothing outstanding personally to add to a collection. I mean, there might be people who have it, but for me, it's just not all that. I feel like I've smelled better perfumes and some of these other perfumes that I've tried actually smell better than this. So to me, to candy is going to be a no, it is not full bottle worthy, sad to say. So now for the last fragrance, I saved this for last because I actually tried this fragrance back in New York when I went to Bergdorf's and I was trying different fragrances. And this is going to be Overture Woman by Amouage. So here is the sample. And let's go over the notes. So for the top notes, we have apple, brandy, saffron, and bergamot. And then for the middle notes, we have benzoin, myrrh, may rose, cinnamon, and geranium. And then for the base notes, we have leather, alibinum, and labdanum. So again, I tried this already in store when I was out and about in New York with a friend of mine, and I loved it. And I do remember wanting to buy it, but just to be sure that I really love it enough to add it to my collection, I kind of just wanted to sample it again. So let me go ahead and do that for you to see if I still love it or if I don't, or if I've changed my mind. Let's go ahead and spray a little bit here. I hope I still love this fragrance because I really remember loving this one. Mm, and I do. Let me spray it on my wrist actually really quick. Uh, I still really love this and it is very, very complex. When you first spray this fragrance, you definitely do get a lot of that apple and that bergamot for sure. The brandy is in there somewhat, but I feel like it's more of the saffron that kind of overpowers that in my opinion. So it comes off as very fruity, very vibrant at first. And to me, it is a little leathery. The leather is in the base note but it definitely comes through heavy on this. So if you don't like leather fragrances, I would say kind of stay away from this because it definitely is like a leathery, woody scent almost. Not too heavy, but the leather is definitely prominent in this. So if you do not like leather in your fragrances, you may not like this, but you do get a lot of that apple. You do get a lot of that bergamot, that saffron, and you do get a lot of that leather. I would say that this would be like a good date night fragrance. I can see myself wearing this for date night, special occasions, something like that, or even casually almost too. 
but this is definitely like a very complex scent. It's almost hard to describe, but the prominent notes that I get off bat is like that, again, that bergamot, that apple, that saffron, that leather. It's a very heavy cognac-y, because you know it has that brandy in it kind of scent. So if that is something that you're interested in, I would go ahead and check it out. Now, would I say that this is full bottle worthy? I would definitely go ahead and get a full bottle of this because I feel like I still like it as much as I did when I first tried it. But I do want this to dry down a little bit and see how it develops. That's why it's always important to try things on your skin other than just trying it on a piece of paper and then just letting it sit for a while. Because when you first spray it, it's not always going to smell the same and of course it's gonna develop over time. So who knows, I may end up changing my mind about some of these that I didn't like as I continue to wear them, but this one, is so good the leather i would say is just screaming at me though and i don't know if i really have a love hate with that so that's one thing i love about fragrances is the complexity of it and how it changes over time because i feel like now it's starting to kind of like settle down almost this is definitely a fall fragrance this is definitely good for winter i don't know if it would be good for year round but this is really really good so as far as these five fragrances i definitely think sound of a ricochet is on the top of my list that one smells amazing i think i will go ahead and buy overture too but out of all five i want to say that those two sit out to me so overture woman by amouage and sound of a ricochet by floraiku this smells so so good and i might just buy it today like i'm so serious it's just such a good fragrance oh i need this one in my life and so that's what i mean like if a certain fragrance gets me excited i need to add it to my collection i don't want to just add anything just to have it it has to make me want to wear it out so sound of a ricochet definitely is full bottle worthy for me overture woman by amouage is definitely full bottle worthy for me i would definitely go ahead and pick those two up as far as the other three, they just weren't really doing it for me. I'll let you guys know in the comments if over time I tried them and I end up liking them, but for me, they were just okay. I don't really see myself adding them to my collection personally. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these fragrances or if any of these stood out to you as far as the notes. Again, fragrances are subjective. Just because I don't like something doesn't mean you won't. And just because I love something doesn't mean you will. So don't be afraid to try these fragrances if they sound like something that you would like to try. I'll leave those links in the description box below. But go ahead and let me know which ones you guys want to try and what your thoughts are. Again, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for future notifications. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys the next video.